Hey y'all, it's Big Beauty Beauty. Some of you may not want to watch this, and some may get extremely turned on by this. Um, so, obviously, in the time that I've been gaining, like two, a little over two years now, I have gained quite a bit of weight. Um, what you guys have seen, all the changes happen. I've gotten pretty huge. The numbers have gone up, but not just that. My you know, my belly has really grown. Um, my legs have gotten wider, thicker. My butt, and you guys have watched me grow out of stuff, and just all kinds of changes. I smash you scale for every person who's dealt with an eating disorder or watched a family member suffer. I smash you scale for every time someone stepped on you feeling accomplished just to step off you feeling like a failure. I smash you scale for never giving the pat on the back that people deserve. It is a big deal to change habits, to get better sleep, to have more energy, to be kinder with your children, even if you're telling us otherwise. I smash you scale for every gorgeous, wonderfully made woman I've ever had the privilege of walking next to to break free from the grips of you. You, over there. We're done with you controlling us. Carissa, this is my YouTube channel, and we are going to be talking about fat sex. So this is the question that I get the absolute most in my inbox, and it says, I have a very large, gorgeous belly. Sometimes it gets in the way of certain positions. Do you have any advice for fat accessible sex positions? I used to get kind of offended when people would ask me this question because I thought, fat sex is just like thin sex. What am I missing? What am I not getting? And then I realized that there are some things that maybe I incorporate into my sex life, not because I'm fat, but just because I'm 30 and I've slept with a lot of people and you kind of learn these things after sleeping with a bunch of people. I'm gonna try to quit being a snot about this question and just answer it as honestly as I possibly can. I personally have a really hard time with my hips. They cramp very easily. I do yoga and I stretch and I do all sorts of stuff, but if my hips are spread for a very long amount of time, they get very sore. So one of the things that I do to help prevent my hips from getting too sore I use very stabilizing methods, so if my hips are spread, then I like to like put a pillow under my knees so that my hips are not bearing the weight of holding my legs up. Or if I'm on the edge of a bed and my partner is standing here and I am laid on the bed, um, I will put my feet on a chair or something on each side of my partner. That way my feet are bearing some of the weight of my legs and not just my hips. Hi. I like cookies. What's up with that cookie? What's up, what's up with that cookie? I have Oreos, and I wanted to show you how to eat Oreos properly. So there are many, many different ways to eat an Oreo. For real though. So let's just see. Improper way to eat an Oreo. Because when it's broken in half like this, you don't get any good flavor receptors. X, not. Another bad way to not eat an Oreo is You gotta twist. You can't pull. Cause look it. Now you've gone and done it. Oh! I wanted that part. Oh, that's fucking sad.